Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Booth Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, some news on the Dallas Cowboys. Um, the commanders with the left hand up are planning on bringing back Dan Quinn for a second interview per sources. He's already slated to speak again with the Seahawks. So, um, also, also, all of a sudden, Dan Quinn is heating up. And you may see one of the uh, teams that are going for the second interview uh, jump on him, understanding that also that the Tennessee Titans... Uh, Quinn is the third candidate headed to round two with the Titans as well. So you've got the Commanders, the Seahawks, and the Titans all looking for round two interviews with Dan Quinn. Um, maybe he's going to go ahead and get one of these jobs after all. Um, the question would be is, do people look at what happened to the Dallas Cowboys versus the Green Bay Packers and say Dan Quinn had checked out and the defense was a failure, or do they look at it from the standpoint of where we were in 2020 when Mike Nolan was the defensive coordinator and it was historically bad? And without pieces, all of the pieces, um, let's be clear here, the defense and the players that Dan Quinn took over were not really good. You ended up getting rid of... Um, Jalen Smith and some of the other players that were in there, uh, you ended up bringing in on that defense guys like Gerald McCoy that couldn't play anymore because he got injured and Don Terry Poe. And the players that you replaced them with weren't exactly the cream of the crop as far as big name free agents to turn a defense around. And you had a hole at linebacker. Teams may take that into consideration and say, what if they had? brought in some linebackers as opposed to not really having any and having to use safeties as linebacker undersized guys that maybe he did more with less and would be a good fit on a team that we're willing to put more into it so we'll see how the, all that goes I still believe that Dan Quinn didn't learn didn't forget how to coach you don't have the success that you had with the Seattle Seahawks um, getting the Atlanta Falcons to a Super Bowl and even turning this defense around without knowing something. Um, was it enough? By all means, no. But I look at it and still say that the Dallas Cowboys cake was not completely baked. So good luck to Dan Quinn. Um, seeing Dan Quinn with the commanders could be a little bit of a problem because he knows where all the bodies are buried and may know how to attack this team. Um, We'll see where it all goes. All right, good people. I will catch you later.